Hey guys, this is Sean from Far From Average Automotive, and I'm gonna try to do this again because I honestly hate my first video, and I am able to do this again. So for a second time, here is the 1989 Batmobile. So you may have seen this in the movies and stuff like that, um, but my initial thoughts on this car is it's matte black, not shiny black, so it's very sinister looking. And me being from the Dallas area, the Six Flags, we have this outside the Batman ride in Six Flags. So it's kind of cool to have one here in front of me. But it is very two movie quality. I mean, even the rim hubcap thing, he's got the Batmobile, his air, got the Batmobile. It's it's just all around a perfect spec and copy of the movie car. And when you come around to the back, you even got the turbine in the back. It's crazy. The little attention details with this car that they did. It's great. So what's really unique to this Batmobile is the big wings on this. Big Wang Gang. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, um, and then when you come back here, it's just super smooth and uh, the aerodynamics of this car must be freaking nuts because I bet you these just cut straight through and then the big exhaust and the quantity it's just crazy back here it's a lot going on so this car is fully illegal it has blinkers it has brake lights it's registered it passes its missions everything and then up here down at the bottom you have the same lights and turn signals and everything it has brights all that so that's kind of crazy is you could daily drive this technically but i don't know why you would so at first glance from the front it literally looks like this car has three parts you got the center you got the two side going into it but it's one big fiberglass frame when you come to the side you have all these things the machine guns come out of here i don't know what that does you got the rims you got the so you can get air circulated it's just crazy this car so this is just a LS Corvette engine with a Capri frame and unlike your traditional car with a grill, there's a hole that just goes straight down the middle to get all the airflow to the engine. The vent in this Batmobile is kind of functional to the extent. Um, it has lights in there on this one, but in the actual one is to get wind flow to the jet turbine that's in the front. Another thing I want to touch on over here is the monstrosity that is the wheels. He has big wheels back here. And uh, the radiators, uh, that means that the harder it gets, the more grip you get. Uh, it personally reminds me and my camera guy Hayden of old time muscle cars. But in the front of it, you know, it's still a radiator tire, but it's pretty normal size. Another thing that I want to mention is Hayden asked before we started, when you look up this car through the VIN, does it come up as a Batmobile or what? But no, it comes up as a Chevy Capri because that's the chassis that it is on. Let's check out the inside. So gracefully getting in here, you know, being six foot five. Huh. Okay, so on the inside of this car, it looks like you know a traditional muscle car. Um, it has really comfortable seats. It kind of look like a new Shelby seats to me. I um, mean, you come to the front over here. There's no mirrors on this car, so on this screen right here, it pops up four boxes, and you have cameras going every single direction, showing that. You got a big heads-up display. You got like a little you know street racing steering wheel. Um, how you start the car is kind of cool though. You got to flip this up and then turn that on and then press this button and it's just it's very basic what you need but also super fun and sporty when you put it into gear you literally just have three gears right here it's kind of it's kind of crazy it's a really really unique fun car so another thing i want to touch on before i get out of here is the literal set of hints at batman so you know you're driving a batmobile 
these floor mats right here have Batman logos, and then also um, when you get out, it's kind of a challenge. You gotta you know push up, and then you got grip tape on the side of this. You step on that, you get out, and you uh, hop out, and there you go. You're out gracefully. I hope. So this is Josh, Blake's brother, because Blake is lame and had to work today. Lame. Anyways, I'm six foot five. Josh is way shorter than me. So let's see how easy it is for him to get inside. It's actually pretty smooth. I'm gonna be honest. I'm really <laughs> Bro, impressed feels, by that. Man, this. Yeah, no, that feels amazing. Snug fit. That's real snug. That's nice. So now I'm going to show you the cool features of this car. The first thing I want to touch on is the guns. <laughs> and we're going to go for a drive now. Josh and I are going to go for a ride, so let's do the startup. This thing shoots flames, so I say we check that out real quick. All right, so Josh and I are driving in it right now, and it's kind of ridiculous. Dude, this is crazy. Yeah. Look at this guy. So yeah, we're driving in there right now, and uh, this is ridiculous. Oh shit, I don't know how to do the turn signal. Okay, here we go, we're good, we're good. Dude, what is even live, dude? I know, this is mind blowing right now. Okay, I, I'm sorry for my messy hair, but I'm taking off my hat. Oh my god, dude. All right, so now we're driving it. A lot of people are looking at us right now. We got a few horns honked at us. Here we go. Oh my god, dude, this is ridiculous. All right, Josh, let's do, let's do one acceleration. hitting a blinker and it's right there. <laughs> Blinker's still on. <laughs> it's just so like I, I don't even know what to say, dude. Like this is say. so crazy. He's 
looking at us, dude. If you want to get attention, this is definitely the way to do it. Oh, yeah. So Hayden's in the car now. This is unbelievable. <laughs> it's like everything we've done have led to this moment. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. I'm just curious, how does it feel to drive? Because I know we're tall people. And it's... like seeing out this windshield is kind of hard, but it doesn't matter. We're in a fat mobile. It's scary as hell, Hayden. It's scary as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Getting in, moving this back, we have to scrunch our heads down, then we can put them up just because, you know, I don't want to hit my head. But if I sit up normally here, I can barely see the road. And, uh, but that all doesn't matter. You're driving a fat mobile. I know, it's weird, dude. It's really freaking weird, I'm gonna be honest. I still haven't completely come to terms with that. But I will say, it feels, it actually is pretty comfortable. It's just like a freaking lanyard. Everybody looks at you. Yeah, this thing is definitely the most neck breaker car I've ever been in and seen. Especially because it drives. That's true. <laughs> Everybody looks at you, it's the craziest thing. I think every car we've passed, someone is just pointing as we drive by. When me and Josh did, we're getting honks and people like waving and trying to flag us down. It's like, <laughs> this thing is amazing. Thank you, Lubbock Batman. Thank you, Lubbock Batman, this yes. This is awesome. This is beyond our rivalry streams with this YouTube channel. This is, a, this is like a dream come true. It's crazy. Driving that car is just a real experience. Once again, thank you, Lubbock Batman. Um, it handles really well. For how big it is, you don't really feel like it's that big when you're driving it. It visually looks that way, but it doesn't feel that way, if that makes sense. Now, going into the engine, like we said earlier, it has an LS engine from Corvette, but instead of it having a Chevy badge, it has Wayne Enterprise for Batman. We're about to pew pew. You're good. <laughs> so we've already shown this and we can drive it and do it, but I kind of don't want to overheat the car. So here's the flames in the back. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and here on the YouTubes. Um, thank you to Lubbock Batman for letting us film this a second time because I hate the first one. Now, for you guys to do, go watch the first one and watch the second one and tell me how much the first one sucks and what you would do different if you had the opportunity to film this awesome car.